Zealanders have woken to a tragedy unfolding in the great city of Christchurch. Many people have lost their lives. Families have lost their cherished loved ones. Mates have lost their mates. These deaths are the greatest loss. They remind us that in the end, buildings are just buildings. Roads are just roads. But people are irreplaceable. I made the decision to study in Christchurch based solely on my passion for skiing and outdoor adventure. I was aware of the disaster that struck Christchurch, but I had no idea as to how massive its impact truly was. Every direction you look, it is just absolutely catastrophic. Um, buildings have tumbled. There's five, six-story building I can see in front of me that is on a 30-degree lean. Um, people are just making their way out of, out of the centre of the city as fast as they can. February 22nd, 2011. At 12.51 p.m., a devastating earthquake struck the city of Christchurch. Most of the downtown infrastructure was completely destroyed. The city's eastern suburbs were wiped out by liquefaction, a process in which an earthquake shakes the soil so violently it liquefies into quicksand beneath your feet. Worldwide support was provided initially. But two weeks later, a disaster in Japan shifted the world's focus. As time progressed, Christchurch was forgotten. Three years later, thousands of significant aftershocks have continued to strike the city, and many buildings still remain unrepaired in heaps of rubble right where Mother Nature left them. My name is Sunday Bry, and I'm raising money for the community of Christchurch. I'm starting a new fundraising campaign for Gap Filler, an initiative dedicated to bringing the community of Christchurch closer together. Gap Filler aims to do this by taking vacant sites awaiting development throughout the city and temporarily filling them with creative projects to bring new life to the city. Gap Filler has already established projects such as a mini golf course spread throughout downtown a community book exchange, a community bike shed, a dance pad, citywide artwork, and more. Gap Filler is a very unique charitable trust devoted to uplifting the Christchurch community by providing entertainment and hope. Christchurch, New Zealand's second largest city and the heart of the South Island, was amongst one of the most popular tourist destinations prior to the earthquake. It saddened me to learn now, while many people from across the world travel to New Zealand to explore its natural beauty, most travelers leave Christchurch off their itinerary, believing Christchurch has nothing left to offer and fearing for their safety in a city plagued by earthquakes. When I visit New Zealand, I want to explore its wonderful scenery while giving as much as I can to the community of Christchurch. Therefore, as part of this fundraiser, I'll travel along the Southern Alps of New Zealand visiting 10 different ski areas and skiing every run on each mountain in just 14 days. I will then conclude this fundraiser by heli skiing the Mount Cook region. I look forward to this difficult challenge of endurance as I travel along an entire mountain range, skiing terrain ranging from the cliff faces and narrow chutes dotted around the ridges of Craigieburn to the open bowls of Treble Cone. I'm asking for your donation to help my efforts in rebuilding Christchurch. Every dollar will contribute to help the community of Christchurch rebuild their city. But I'd like to challenge you to donate $10. One dollar for every mountain that I ski. To help make a donation, check out the link in the description below. Or click on it right here in the video. Your money will be sent directly to Gap Filler and used in the efforts to rebuild Christchurch. I also encourage you to visit my website, skiforchristchurch.com, and to share it with your friends and family. I have a goal of raising $50,000. It's a lot of money, but I know it can be done with your help. The Christchurch community is one built on love and hope, and their spirit has carried them in the wake of their city's destruction. It's time to answer their prayers and let them know that the world has not left them to face their struggles alone. Christchurch, today is the day your great comeback begins. Though your buildings are broken, your streets are washed and your hearts are aching, your spirit will overcome. It will be a difficult journey, but progress is certain. 
things will get better, Christchurch will rise again.